Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at a couple different ways that we can add leading zeros to our values in Excel. So the first way we're gonna look at is to use a custom formatting. So if we've got our numbers in Excel, we can select them and go up to the Home tab and open our formatting dialog box. And if we head over to the Number tab and add a custom format, and if we type in the total number of zeros that we want, so let's try six zeros here and press okay. Then you can see that they're now displaying with leading zeros. So here we had five digits and we only have one leading zero. And here we had one digit and we have five leading zeros. So everything has a total of six digits now. The next way we're gonna take a look at is to format our cells as text. So if I select my cells that I want to add numbers into that have text and then go up to the Home tab, we can change the formatting to text values and that way anything we enter in there is going to be entered as a text. So now if we enter something with leading zeros and press enter, then it's not going to convert that into a number. So here we just have general formatting. If I do the same thing over here and press enter, you can see that it's uh, Excel has converted that into a one. Whereas here the value has remained as text with those leading zeros. The next method we're gonna take a look at is to use an apostrophe before we start typing our numbers. And this tells Excel that the number is going to be a text value. So if we start typing with an, a single apostrophe, then we can enter our number with leading zeros. And when we press enter, Excel recognizes that as a text value and we'll keep those leading zeros. The next method we're gonna take a look at is to use the text function to add leading zeros. So the text function allows us to format our numbers as text. So the first argument is the value we want to format. And the second argument is the formatting we want to apply. And so we can add a formatting with zeros. And let's press enter. And we get our format with leading zeros here. The next method we're going to take a look at is going to allow us to add leading zeros to not just numbers, but also text values. So here we have some alphanumeric codes and we want to add leading zeros to that. We won't be able to use the previous methods. Instead, what we're going to do is concatenate that with a string of zeros. And if we copy that down, You'll see that the strings we have have all six leading zeros, regardless of how long the original string was. So what we're also going to have to do is chop off the last six digits. And to do that, we're gonna use the write function. So that's just going to allow us to get the rightmost characters from a text string. So we're going to get the rightmost characters from this text string that we join our zeros to. And then we're just going to take the six rightmost characters. And let's copy that down. And you can see that we now have a total of six characters in all the text strings and leading with zeros. The next method we're going to take a look at is using Power Query to add leading zeros. So I formatted my numbers as a table. And then I'm going to go up to the Data tab and use a Table Range Query to get these into Power Query. And I'm going to select the column here. And then we're going to add a column. So we're going to go up to the Add Column tab and add a custom column. And let's just name this Padded Numbers. And 
Power Query actually has a function that allows us to do this, and it's called text.padStart. So this allows us to pad any text values with any character so that the total number of characters is a given count. And so the first argument is the item we want to add padding to. So that's our number column. And we want a total of six characters. And we want to pad it with a zero. And let's press OK. And actually we'll get an error. And that's because we need to apply this function to a text value. So right now we have a number here. So you can see that it's a whole number. So I'm going to go back to this step here that changed our data type. And I'm going to go and change our column to a text data type. And now if we go back to our added custom column step, we'll get our padded numbers here. And we can go up to the home tab and close and load this to a table in Excel. Let's add this to a table in this worksheet and press OK. And we have our padded numbers from Power Query. The next method we're going to take a look at is using a pivot table and DAX measures to add padding to our numbers. So let's go up to the insert tab and create a pivot table from this set of data here. And to do this, we need to add our data into the data model. And let's put this pivot table on the same sheet here. Let's press OK. And that should open up the pivot table fields window. And from here, we can right click on the table that we just created a pivot table from and add a measure. Let's call this padded. And then the formula that we're going to use is the format function in DAX. And just like the text function in Excel, it allows us to format a value as text. So we're going to format our number column here. And it was in a table I named numbers. And again, in double quotes, we're going to add a couple zeros. And this will be a general formatting. And if I check this formula, it's not actually going to work. So this is invalid because this function here does not resolve to a single aggregated value. So what we need actually is to concatenate this before. And we're going to use the concatenate x function to do that. And the first argument in concatenate x is the table you want to concatenate values in. So that's our numbers table. And then the next argument is the expression we want to concatenate. So that's our formatted values here. And we can close off our concatenate x function. And now if we check this, it should work. And let's press OK. And we get our new DAX measure in our pivot table fields list here. Let's add it to the values area and see what happens. And we get a list of numbers here. And actually, I need to right click and edit this measure because I didn't add a separator. So the last argument in concatenate x allows us to add a delimiter. So let's add a comma and a space as a delimiter. That'll make that list of numbers much more readable. Let's try that. And there we go. There's our list of numbers with padded zeros in them. The next method we're going to take a look at is to use a power pivot calculated column. So if we head up to the power pivot add in tab and we can add our data into the data model. Then we can use our 
format function here without the concatenate function. And again, we're gonna format our number here. And we're gonna add a string of zeros to format it as. And let's press enter. And we get our padded numbers here. Let's rename this column. Let's double click on it. And press enter. And let's save this and close. And notice we now have that new column in our pivot table. And we can add that into the rows area. And here's our padded number. So that's eight different ways that you can add leading zeros to your values in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.